Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's meeting for the Rotary E-Club of Silicon Valley, where each week we bring you inspirational programs on innovation, entrepreneurship, education, and humanitarian service. We're happy that you have chosen to join us again this week. Uh, we have a special treat this week, actually. Uh, it's going to be um, an interesting program that's going to sort of wrap up one Rotary year and then kickstart the next. Uh, who we have on the call today is our uh, current president, Stephen, and our upcoming president, Andrew. Um, so we'll, we'll hear a little bit from both, but I think Andrew is sort of going to uh, lead the presentation here, and he, um, uh, he'll give us maybe a bit of a summary on how this is going to go. Uh, so with that, I'll turn it over to Andrew. Perfect. Thank you. Um, yeah, so uh, I just kind of wanted to talk about what um, what we've done, what Stephen has done over over the past uh, year, and um, and some of the things we might be able to look forward to in in the coming year after uh, July. Um, so I'm I'm just going to go ahead and screen share, get some slides on. All right. Let's see. All right, can everyone see the slides? Perfect, cool. So um, my, uh, one of my favorite TV shows um, from, it was like from the late 90s, early 2000s was The West Wing. And uh, the, some of the things that would happen on The West Wing is um, there would be this crazy day where all kinds of stuff is happening all over the world. And um, at the very end of the episode, uh, they would sit around and, and they would have either fixed their problems or have seen disappointing results from the problems, whatever it was. Um, the, the president, um, uh, the character was Jed Bartlett. Um, the president would say, what's next? And, and I kind of always, that always sort of stuck with me. Um, so, uh, first off, um, we have had a, a pretty, uh, productive, a uh, year over over the course of 2017-2018 um, and particularly in, in youth services. Um, under uh, MIDI's leadership we um, have started partnering with the Duke of Edinburgh's award um, to offer awards uh, from our club and our club would also um, facilitate these awards. And for those of you who aren't that familiar with um, the Duke of Edinburgh uh, award, it's a um, a, a youth award um, to <clears throat> uh, to kind of help um, youth be more well-rounded individuals. Um, so there are creative projects, um, uh, physical projects like physical athletics, athleticism projects, um, and also outdoor education. Um, it's it's like the American Boy Scouts, but way more things kind of piled on. Um, and, uh, and it's this wonderful opportunity for, for youth to really discover what they love and what makes them, what, what makes them passionate um, and, and to do it alongside other people who, uh, who are simple, similarly going through um, that journey. Um, and we've also wrapped into our club um, Laptops for Good, which is a, a project that I started um, about a couple years back. Um, it is a project that provides uh, laptops along with uh, um, some digital paraphernalia like um, computer mice, laptop case, um, and USB drive. Uh, and these care packages are given to um, low-income students who um, have just or are about to graduate from high school and uh, matriculate into college. Um, and these students are also the ones that uh, have had a history of community service. The idea is that if we um, are, uh, if we can provide a few tools just to make college a little bit easier for, for students who have already both shown a resilience against um, their circumstances and um, a, uh, a commitment to service uh, for their community, 
um, I, th I think we, we would ultimately help them make the world a better place. Um, and the cool thing is, uh, once after it was wrapped into the club, the club started its first, uh, oh, right, I forgot my next slide. So this is where the laptops have, have gone so far. Um, by the end of this summer, there will be a bunch more laptops tacked onto this, um, and you, you will all hear more about that soon. Um, and after the, the project was wrapped into the club um, for the first time, uh, our club will be, uh, had hosted an annual uh, fundraiser. Um, it was at a winery at Retzloff, and um, it was a super fun event. A bunch of us got together, uh, a bunch of Rotarians from other clubs also visited. Um, we, we had Shags, our paella master, make some uh, pretty great paella. Um, some great wine. There was also uh, a jazz band that, that happened to be playing there at the same time. Um, so we, we got we got a little free music, which was pretty great. Um, and and it was just a it was a really wonderful time. And we're actually going to be doing that again. This is a flyer, uh, so please don't pay attention to the dates and the times on this flyer. This is a flyer from um, our last year. Uh, next year or this year, this this uh, coming. Um, fundraiser will be on August 11th and tickets will be $65. Uh, many of you should have seen the event bright um, by now, but just a reminder, you should totally go if you're, if you're nearby because it's, it's a, it's a pretty fun event. And um, given that this is going to be the second year, it's going to be even more fun than the first. Under mini grants, we have uh, had two projects uh, that were funded um, actually within the last few months. Um, member Nicole Pham uh, proposed a project for healthcare supplies for youth in Vietnam and uh, Maxi Bustos, um, a clean water project in Paraguay. We're going to hear from um, both of them later in the year about how their projects went and uh, how the mini, mini grants uh, process um, was for them, but um, just so for those of you who, who are either guests or newer to the club, mini grants are um, a program that, uh, that we started a little while back. It's a matching um, grant of up to $250 um, for a small uh, service project. Um, it's a project that our, uh, our members are eligible for, and all they need to do is find either um, individuals or uh, organizations that will that will match up to um, two hundred fifty dollars for for the project with a, for a total uh, um, project budget of five hundred. And through our coffee with Rotarian um, that uh, Sviaco uh, facilitates, so m members who who have been in the club for a while will will probably really recognize um, Sviaco's uh, emails about signing up. Um, for those of you who have not signed up for Coffee with, with Rotarian yet, you definitely should. Um, it's uh, basically a way for Rotarians um, to, be, uh, to be matched randomly um, to each other. And then we, we connect either uh, via Zoom. Some of us actually get to meet up uh, in person who, when we live close to each other. Um, and, and we just have coffee or, uh, in some occasions, um, wine and, and whatever else. But, uh, I, I ran a quick calculation on, um, uh, assuming that every single person drank only one cup of coffee, uh, which is unlikely because whoever drinks only one cup of coffee. Um, but if every person drank only one cup of coffee, uh, collectively, as a club, we have um, consumed about 70 liters of coffee um, in the worldwide coffee industry. <laughs> and one of the things that um, makes the e-club so wonderful is that we are able to connect uh, to people all over the world. Um, and it's, it's this great thing where uh, it doesn't matter if we have a super busy schedule or, um, uh, or we live far apart from each other. Um, the one great strength that our e-club has is uh, we meet anytime during a week, and um, we meet basically anywhere where you have an internet connection. Um, the, th the thing about that, though, is that it does pose a, a challenge that we have um, 
that uh, brick and mortar clubs generally don't. And it's that <clears throat> we don't have the chance encounter very much of um, people just sort of getting together, sharing a meal and, uh, um, and seeing each other every week. Um, and the, it, it's, it's something that we'd, we'd like more of in this club, um, more opportunities for members to connect either to each other or um, to all of us uh, on mass. And so um, a part of next year will be uh, to have online socials that will be hosted um, by one of our members, <clears throat> usually a different member. And, and we also try to um, have uh, in different months, different time zones um, represented so that um, it, it doesn't matter if, if it's uh, if it's a if it's a bad time zone for you in in one month, there will probably be a great time for you in the following month. And so we'll we'll have monthly socials, as well as uh, monthly local socials. the The big thing about the the so, the monthly uh, local socials is that um, I I really wouldn't want to uh, for that to just be um, for those of us who are local to the bay. Um, the drive will be to try and find socials where um, we are somewhere with Wi-Fi. Now, that won't always happen. If we are hiking, um, I, I will not be turning on a hotspot to, <laughs> to try and catch a couple bars in the middle of a beautiful wilderness that we should be enjoying. But um, most of the socials will be uh, in places with Wi-Fi where um, one... Of, of you who uh, are not local to the area or for whatever reason can't make it out, um, can kind of just sign on for a few minutes. You don't even have to like drive anywhere. There's no commute. You just sit in your pajama pants, you sign on and uh, join us for a beer or, or something. Um, <clears throat> and lastly, I, I've made it a, a personal commitment to meet each of our members one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. This is something I started <clears throat> um, uh, this this past Rotary year, um, and we have had new members join uh, since then, and I'm I'm continuously having to catch up. And so um, by by the end of this Rotary year, uh, this coming Rotary year, I hope to uh, have met each of you one on one at least once. Um, and I encourage all of our other members uh, to to do the same, to make the same commitment. It it is. Um, a, a quite a bit of a time commitment, but um, the the wonderful thing about that is that when you start meeting multiple members, there are more opportunities for um, conversations to go something like, oh, you need advice for a uh, contractor? Well, I happen to know somebody who is currently going through that process and, and can kind of help give you some advice on uh, finding a good contractor or something like that. So. Um, and and I, ultimately, I think that's, that's a big part of um, what makes uh, Rotary really wonderful is, that, is, is these, these connections that kind of happen um, both spontaneously, but also within the structure of uh, participating in an e-club together. <clears throat> and of course, the other large half of um, being in a Rotary club is service. Um, and that's, that's one of the things that, uh, that's the, the main, main reason that I, I joined the club. And it was only by happenstance that I happened to be in a club with so many wonderful, cool people. Um, but I, I really joined the club for, for opportunities to, to do more uh, community service. Um, so we'll have more local service opportunities, of course, um, like uh, cleaning up parks and, um, and kind of like uh, rehabilitation of, of spaces and things like that. But um, I, I also am, am driven to want to provide more um, service opportunities for uh, anyone who, who isn't in the local Bay Area and, and things that um, you can participate in no matter where you are in the world. So that could be um, maybe an online fundraiser where we are uh, gathering funds to support a particular project that's happening on the ground somewhere else. And um, it could be attending that fundraiser or helping build um, the collateral for that fundraiser, like uh, the Eventbrite site or, or flyers or things like that. <clears throat> and 
Um, and that would be a part of that participation for making these really good things happen and, and really um, kind of changing the world for a better, even if it's in a small way, in our small little corner of, of the internet somewhere um, around the world. And, and there's, there's something I think really lovely about, um, about the e-club. And it's that we, we are all over the place and we, are, we happen to find each other in, in, this, in this wonderful way and, and are like-minded in, in the sense that we want to see the world, um, we, we want to make the world a better place. And <clears throat> if, if all of us are, are, can be engaged with each other and connecting with each other and doing service together, I think that sets an incredible foundation for something really great to happen. Um, and it could be that that's from this, uh, from engaging with each other more often through service and through our socials, um, that we could potentially start projects where um, we, we already have some of our members on the ground in, in, um, in a country that needs it, and, uh, and we can deploy our resources to create something that, um, that really makes uh, an incredible impact. Um, so over, over the coming year, uh, you'll probably receive, um, quite a few emails from me or quite a few emails from, um, uh, from board members or, uh, chairs of committees, um, about all these opportunities to, uh, to either connect with each other on, um, uh, to socialize or to connect with each other to, uh, work on, um, club projects. And... And it's, it's all around this, this, this idea that, that if all of us can be um, engaged to each other and to, uh, to the service of, of our communities, um, we have the potential to do something that very, very, very few other clubs have. Um, and that is my hope for, for the coming year. <clears throat> Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. Uh, it's exciting. Stuff. Thanks for this uh, nice overview of, you know, some of the more interesting, important things that happened over the past year and also the exciting plans that you have for, for the year ahead. Um, I, I, I want to um, maybe start off by, uh, by asking both of you guys for, um, you know, what is your favorite memory from, or the, the, the thing that you have enjoyed the most um, over the past Rotary year? Um, I think I'm, I'm gonna maybe answer that question first. Um, I think for, uh, for me, since, um, so, so one of the programs that you mentioned uh, for over the past year was the, the Coffee with a Rotarian program. Um, and for, for me, one of the more interesting and rewarding things has been getting the reports from each participant in the coffee that we're doing every month and some of the interesting things that um people you uh, speak you we'll talk about and then discuss and um you to know each other and having that oh sorry can you hear me am i back there you go there yeah, yes, you froze like half a second just earlier <laughs> uh yeah my internet connection sometimes uh gives out but um i, I was just saying that the coffee rotarian program and hearing the reports back has been one of my um, most favorite things over awesome. the past year in particular. And, and I think it does provide that platform for our members to be able to, to get to know each other. So, so it's been yeah. very rewarding to hear well, their story. Well, thank you for um, that. I mean, that's a lot of work that you put in for that for sure. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, I've been enjoying it. So it's, it's, uh, it's good stuff. Um, how about you guys? Uh, Steven, over the past year, what's... Yeah. Uh, uh, one of the more I've got to say one, one thing that really helped me, especially just run things. I mean, with you guys, with your guys' help was um, you and Andrew creating that template that made things so much easier. It's I don't, I don't realize I don't think people realize how much work that you guys put in to do that. And it just made the whole meeting process a lot more smoother. Right. It can in the future. I know during Andrew's year, we can have more people contribute as well. So it's just about creating systems. And that was kind of my goal as a beginning in uh, becoming president. Right. Creating these systems. And I got to thank Andrew and uh, Sviaco. That definitely made my rotary year because you guys came with those systems it was towards the end but at the same time it just you know i can see this thing really working out because of that so definitely thank you too for that awesome yeah you're welcome and and the so the spreadsheet that um that steven is referencing for for those of you not um aware of it 
is a, um, a spreadsheet that we created to encourage more of our uh, board members to participate in meeting curation. So the information that you can see on the meeting page every week, um, where we're able to get uh, uh, a few people to participate in putting that Definitely. together. Just one person subscribing. There's a lot of talent here, right? <laughs> I remember in the beginning, yeah. uh, we tried to create different committees and then uh, try to have people, you know, put it on a separate spreadsheet. But I don't know why it didn't occur to me to just put it all onto one with tabs and everyone can contribute. So that's pretty cool. In the future, I see a lot more people who want to contribute to meeting processes to, to just be able to go on there and do it, right? So it's just a work in progress. And I think we're progressing really nicely considering how new work club is. Yeah. And if, if any of you are watching um, the, the recording are interested in um, and helping out with some of the stuff, just let us know in the comments below and we'll reach out to you. We're, Absolutely. Uh, we're um, up for involving more and more people in the process. The more, the better. Definitely. Systems. <laughs> How about you, Andrew? What's been your favorite memory from the past year? Oh, I mean, you you have the right to, but you, you actually stole mine. <laughs> um, I, I, love, I love Coffee with the Rotarian. The, the many times that I, I meant to have a, a very efficient 45 minute call with somebody that turned into like a three hour conversation because we oh, wow. just had so much, so much to talk about. Um, but if, if I can't steal Sfiakos, uh, then I'm, I'm probably going to have to go with um, the last uh, rotary fundraiser that, that we had, which was um, a taste for good. Um, it's, it's the one that will be coming up again in uh, August 11th um, at Retzloff Vineyards. And it, it, was, it was a really cool thing because it was, it was both a physical um, event where uh, we went and we ate and drank and just had a lot of fun with each other. And, uh, and we had this, this silent auction there. But the cool part was the silent auction was uh, members could contribute or not contribute, could bid on those silent auction items online, um, even if they weren't at the event. And, and it was this cool like, like mix of both um, like a Terra Club activity and an e-club activity sort of mashed into one. Um, and I, I think there, there, there's so much like interesting ways to explore that with, um, with our club, those, those mixings of, of meeting each other in person and online um that uh that we could we could probably build some more some more things like based on based on that idea um and, and it was just a really cool way to, to be connected with everyone yeah it's uh it, it was nice to hear how how well it went and how successful it was even though it was the the first year so thank you for... <laughs> yeah for, for first year events usually do not go well <laughs> Well, I mean, again, people don't really realize like, how much work you put in, Andrew. So that's got to give credit where credit's due, right? You made it really, really work out. So, <laughs> well, I mean, we we had a we had a pretty pretty awesome team. Um, sure. Like like what, what I was saying before about how uh, we could we could all do service no matter where we are. Sviako is constantly in another country. Um, I'm actually not entirely sure where he is now, but I assume <laughs> he is uh, he is somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere new. <laughs> um, and, uh, but, but f like, for instance, for that event, um, he was a big part of marketing. He actually created the, the flyer that was on, um, on my slides and um, uh, some, some of the other like visual collateral that, that uh, kind of made it into um, being published <laughs> into, excuse me, into the event. And so, yeah, there's, there's so many different ways to do service um no matter where you are or or uh what kind of um schedule you might have throughout the week um and it like every little thing actually makes everyone's everyone's uh process through building building projects like this um so much easier and so much more enjoyable because we get to we get to do it with with more wonderful people yeah and Andrew, um, oh, so Stephen, before I throw it to you for a question, I just have one other quick one. Um, so, uh, um, Andrew, there, there are quite a few committees, right, um, that will continue to exist throughout your, your Rotary year as well. Um, can you just maybe briefly mention a few of them? And, um, you know, are there, 
are, are you aware if there's you know spots available for people from other of our members who might be interested in um, in helping out to to join some of these committees? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so our three very uh, traditional and very big um, committees are uh, service uh, membership, which is um, both uh, for socials as well as for recruitment um, <clears throat> and uh, programs. Um, currently, we have um, an opening, uh, a chair opening for both local service and local memberships. Um, so if, if you are someone, and, and to, to chair those positions and to chair any of these positions does not mean that you will um, kind of take on the Herculean task of, of doing like a monthly social or, or a monthly uh, service project um, and have to do that for the rest of the year. Um, the, the, the purpose of the chairs is actually just to be a person to, um, to message the committee and say, hey, we need, um, we need a service project for the next quarter, um, just three of them for the next quarter. You book those three and it's done. And, and the, the actual commitments of, uh, at least for membership and, um, and service, the commitments are, are fairly low in, in time. It's, it's not very time consuming. It's, I'd say maybe like an hour a month um, just, just for those chair positions. Um, and the, the membership uh, one is a little bit more because any new member that kind of comes in, um, the membership chair is also one of the first people to, to message that person. So you might have like two minutes here, two minutes there <laughs> when, when new members come in. Um, and it's all templated out. Uh, so it, it really just needs someone um, to uh, press the send, uh, send button for us. Um, and then we have a bunch of other um, uh, project committees. Uh, Laptops for Good is a committee. There's about um, five of us currently, and we, we just uh, selected our first round of awardees. Uh, there will be four of them, and, and they'll be awarded laptops. Um, and uh, by the time this airs, probably in uh, about a week and a half uh, to two weeks. Um, and uh, there is the Duke of Edinburgh Award um, committee that uh, that facilitates all of our, our processes and our selection process and our mentorship process um, through the Duke of Edinburgh Award. <laughs> um, and uh, and really any uh, any um, project that arises uh, also has a committee. So the fundraiser um, that's happening on August 11th, um, great committee over there. Uh, we will likely have a fundraiser um, sometime in the middle of the year. Um, that that uh, I'll be organizing, and I welcome anyone who wants to join that. Um, that will most likely be an online fundraiser. So, um, uh, if if you here's a little uh, little little taste of what's to come. If you really like um, uh, pub trivia nights, join my committee <laughs> because um, I will need trivia questions. Um, and uh, yeah, so, so there's, there's um, actually quite a few committees to, to join, um, quite a few opportunities to, to do uh, some pretty cool service. Um, and, and actually none, none of these really take a lot of time. Um, I, I think what, what becomes time consuming is when, uh, when we have one person doing a bunch of everything or one person doing the entirety of a particular component of, of the program, like one person doing all of service, for instance. Um, but we were, we're quickly building a structure where, where that is not the case. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's basically our committees in, in a nutshell. That's awesome. Yeah, thanks for, for going over that. It's good yeah, to hear you. that there's always opportunities for people to, to get involved, uh, regardless of how little or how much time they, they have to give. Um, so Stephen, over to you. Perfect. Yeah. So uh, before I just want to give credit where credit is due again, and uh, before like last few words as president. <laughs> so I definitely want to thank our leadership team. I mean, it couldn't have done it without you guys. You guys definitely made it a lot more manageable. For example, Sfiaco, Andrew, you guys created the systems. But especially I want to thank Rushton. Um, I want everyone to know how much work he's put in, hours that he's put into as a program director to make sure that every single week we have very good programs. 
right? And I definitely couldn't have done it without him. So and anytime anyone gets a chance to see him, thank him. <laughs> Send him the email. Make sure it's known that he put in absolutely a lot of work. He uh, was the program director chair, so therefore he was uh, managing, well, sending him all the different, you know, speakers and making sure that on the rotary calendar that we had a speaker for every single week. And uh, if you're hearing this, Rustin, you're going to see this later. So thank you so much. And again, thank you all to the leadership team. I know uh, Andrew's going to be, uh, it's going to do really great. And he's always, we're always going to have his back too, right? So looking forward to your Andrew. Very excited. And then uh, after that, Spiaco's here. So thank you too. And then I uh, appreciate it. And thank you all in the club. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Um, well, before we, we wrap things up, um, and Andrew, I'm going to um, throw it over to you for some last words here. Uh, but for all of our members and guests watching today's video, um, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. Uh, please do share your thoughts and questions in the discuss section below. And um, also don't forget to fill out the attendance survey. So if you're a member, uh, this tells us that uh, uh, you were here this week. And if you are a guest, you will receive an email that you can present to your secretary as a, as a makeup. Um, so, um, so again, thanks uh, for joining us this week. And um, Andrew, over to you for some final remarks. I mean, real quick, I just want to add also, if anybody in the club has any, um, you know, any words to say to let us know that how we can improve our club, feel free to shoot any of us an email. And that's uh, greatly appreciated, right? We're always looking to improve and it wouldn't be possible without your opinion, so. Absolutely, our, our digital door is, is always open. Oh, no, definitely. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for, for the coming year and uh, let's, let's make some cool stuff happen. That's good. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you.